H.O. Brittingham Elementary School is located in Milton, Delaware. Many people ask, why is your school named after this man? Who is he? What did he do? Our Leader and Me Technology Group did some investigative reporting to find answers to these questions. We walked to the Milton Historical Society to do some research. After looking through old yearbooks and gathering information with our iPads, we discovered the following information about this man. His full name was Herman Oscar Brittingham. He was born on September 2nd in 1897 in Millsboro, Delaware, to Jesse and Cora Brittingham. He was the oldest of 14 children. He was raised on a farm, drove trucks, and went to a school in a one-room schoolhouse. At the age of 20, he married Elizabeth Mumford, who was 19 at the time. Together, they had three children, two sons, and one daughter who died at birth. He attended Rutgers University in New Jersey where he earned a bachelor's degree in education. He then attended the University of Delaware where he received a master's in education. After college, he spent 15 years teaching in rural elementary schools in Sussex County where he was known as Mr. B. In 1932, the Milton Consolidated School District was formed when nine different one-room schools merged. He spent 23 years as a teacher of industrial arts, auto mechanics, and mechanical drawing at the new Milton Consolidated School, which opened in September of 1933 on Federal Street in Milton. He eventually became the supervising principal of the Milton School. He spent 13 years as the chief school officer of the Milton School District, retiring in July of 1969. Just before his retirement, a new school was opened on Mulberry Street in Milton in September of 1966, and it was named Milton Elementary School. The name was changed to H.O. Brittingham Elementary School in 1977 after his death. He died at the age of 80 on June 25, 1977. The school was named in his honor to recognize his years of service as an educator in Milton. Now let's listen to some local residents who knew H.O.B. But quite honestly, uh, he was such a dedicated soul that the, the ongoing family question was, if you asked where Papa Britt was, the quick answer was he's at school. <laughs> so he was always at school. My mom used to say, they ought to take a bed over there for him because he's there all the time. You know? But he was, he was a hardworking soul. How many years did you know him? I knew him my entire life. He always lived in Milton and I always lived in Milton. Well, what was he like? Um, when I think about what would describe Mr. Brittingham, I think of, and this is the teacher throwback, three R's. First of all would be rapport, because he always had great rapport with everyone, with students, with other teachers, with custodians, with everybody in the school. He had great rapport. The second R would be respect because he was a very respectful person of individuals. He treated everybody fairly and nicely. And then responsibility. He was a very responsible person. I can remember I played basketball for Milton High School, and if somebody spilled something on the floor, Mr. Brittingham was the one who had the mop who would go out there and clean it up. So he was always took responsibility. He never missed a day of school as a student or as a principal. And when I went to school, I didn't miss a day in 12 years. So when I graduated, he gave me a savings bond. <laughs> Mr. Bringham, um, he was a good man. And one thing about, uh, we had a lot of respect for him because he was a, a fair man. I mean, uh, you know, he wasn't the type that got on you all the time, you you knew where you could go with Mr. Brittingham. Well, he was a nice person. When he taught you well, he was a very good teacher. He did a lot for kids, did a lot for the community. He um, was a manual training teacher, and when you did something wrong, he would holler, attention. And he would stop whatever he was doing, shut the machines off and saws and hammers. And you would listen to what he said. Now, if you acted up or did anything, you had to be tool tender for a day. Then you didn't get to work on your project. You had to tend to the tools. Were you ever a tool tender? Yes, I, a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> 
In September of 2018, a new H.O. Birmingham Elementary School will open its doors for the next generation of learners. HOB has evolved to become a leader in May School, following many of the leadership examples set by H.O. Brittingham during his lifetime. Mr. Brittingham exemplified many of the habits we still practice today. We are proactive. We are each in charge of our lives. We begin with the end in mind. We set goals and have a plan. We put first things first, we work, and then play. We think win-win and we want everyone to be a success. We seek first to understand, and we listen before we speak. We synergize, and we work well with others. Together, Together is better. We want to thank the residents of Milton who helped us with this project. As a result of this project, we are going to begin the Eggshell Brittingham Scholarship Fund. This scholarship will be given to a senior at Cape Penlopen High School, who is a former student of H.O. Brittingham Elementary School. This scholarship will be given to a student who is going into the field of education or into some helping profession that works in the schools. If you would be interested in contributing to the HOB Scholarship Fund, please contact H.O. Brittingham Elementary School at 302-684-8522.